In, in the morning, uh, everyone in the township was amazed when seeing soldiers coming around and even police vehicles uh, accompanied by the officials of the administration board. Um, what they did was to get into house to house, maybe searching for someone's name and surname, and then they would like to know even how many people are living in one plot, and even from the family side, they would like to get the number. So up to this moment, we sort of uh, not clear about Mr. Yen's statement that uh, the removal is continuing, which was stated in the Sowetan early in the morning, that uh, the removal is on. But we failed to understand what's the meaning of the word voluntary, because every time when we wrote a telex to Mr. Yenes, he used to say, this is a voluntary move. But we failed to understand what's the meaning of the word voluntary move by seeing soldiers roving around the township. So that is to create a fear and to threaten, and even to disillusion the community of Okasi. So the feeling from the community side is that there's nothing they are going to do or any step they are going to take. They will just stay here until the time when the government decides to bring bulldozers around to come and demolish the house structures. The minister, Hearness, has stated that the removal of the people from the old location in Brits to Let Labile, 30 kilometers away from Brits, is going to go ahead. And we are obviously very heavily involved in this because most of the workers in that old location are our members of Metal and Allied Workers Union. Our members have been protesting against this removal together with the other workers in the area. In our view, it is definitely not a voluntary removal. It is definitely a forced removal. And we also believe there's no possible justification for going ahead with the removal. Okay. Uh, there are a number of seats uh, further forward. If people at the back would like to move forward, that would make it easier. I'd like to welcome you here this afternoon to this meeting. Um, by way of introduction, I'd like to say that this, as this very troubled year draws to a close, there can be no doubt whatever of the extreme gravity of our situation. When a government is forced to keep a country in a seemingly...
tracks and faith. In civilized societies, children are adults. Hundreds, some as young as 10 and 11 years, are being held indefinitely. We demand an end to this inhumanity. We demand their immediate release. Could I have an indication from this meeting whether that statement is accepted? I would say unanimously, thank you very much. That ends the fourth. <laughs>